The Tempest by William Shakespeare The Tempest is one of the greatest comedies of William Shakespeare. Forgiveness and compromise are the central theme of the play. Prospero is the central and dominant character of this play. He was the Duke of Milan. Antonio was his younger brother. Prospero loved his brother very much. But Antonio played a villainous, evil role. Miranda was a loving daughter of Prosper. After the death of Miranda's mother Prospero appointed his brother Antonio to look after his vast assets. Prospero was very fond of magic. So most of the time he studied the books related to magic. Very soon Prospero was betrayed by his brother. Antonio captured all his Prospero assets and power. He destroyed the liberty of Milan and accepted the command of Naples King Alonso. One day traitor Antonio captured his brother and Miranda. He pushed Prospero and his daughter Miranda towards the danger of the sea in the hope that they would perish. Fortunately, Prospero and his daughter survived and landed on an uninhabited island and started living there. Prospero, in course of a few years, had been able to acquire vast supernatural power. He is now the master of the island and of a large number of spirits of air, water, earth and fire. Of air, aerial, supernatural spirit, serves him in various ways. It is through aerial that Prospero causes a strom on the sea at the time when King Alonso, accompanied by Antonio, Ferdinand, son of Alonso, and other important people. Ariel manages to bring all the people to the island of Prospero at the same time separating Ferdinand from the rest of King Alonso's party, so that Alonso thinks that Ferdinand had perished in the sea. At the same time Ferdinand thinks that he is the only survivor. Now Ferdinand is taken by Ariel to Prospero. But Ferdinand becomes surprised seeing the Hellenic beauty of Miranda. Miranda also likes him. But Prospero wants to justify their love and nature. So he makes difficult conditions for Ferdinand. Ferdinand is compelled to follow the condition. He forgets his sufferings thinking Miranda's love and sympathy. Miranda also feels pain for the sufferings of Ferdinand. Very soon their love is proved genuine. Prospero accepts their love and bless them. But he wants to hand over his daughter after completing his remaining tasks. Prospero is very powerful and omnipotent. He can do whatever he likes. He is the leader of all supernatural spirits. But only Caliban, an inferior spirit doesn't want to obey the command of Prospero. He retains his savage nature to the last.
But Prospero compels him to follow his command. Prospero's magical power is not used as evil propose. It has an excellent mission. Forgiveness and reconciliation are the main missions. Prospero has been suffered heavily at the hand of his enemies. But with the passage of time, the enemies come under the mercy of Prospero. Alonso suffers the loss of his son Ferdinand, which makes him recall and repent for his sin against Prospero. Prospero's first step in the direction of forgiveness is seen in his acceptance of Ferdinand as his son-in-law. Prospero has now to deal with his three enemies namely Antonio, Alonso and Sebastian. Just when the three enemies are about to start eating in the island, Ariel appears in the shape of a harpy. The harpy rebukes them and tells about their past crime they had committed against Prospero and his daughter Miranda. Prospero is informed of the distress of the sinners. His chief mission is to make them realize about their past crime. Three enemies are taken by Ariel before Prospero. Gonzalo also comes. Now Prospero greets and thanks Gonzalo for his goodness. Once Gonzalo provided secretly necessary things, food, books in their little boat. So Prospero is now grateful to Gonzalo. Alonso realizes his fault and pardons for his fault. Prospero embraces Alonso and welcomes him cordially. Alonso then informs Prospero that his dukedom would be restored to him as desired by Prospero. Alonso is also highly pleased meeting with his loving son Ferdinand. He welcomes the love between Miranda and Ferdinand. In this way a complete reconciliation comes between Prospero and Alonso. Antonio and Sebastian do not say much on this occasion. Perhaps, these two men feel inwardly ashamed of their past misdeed. Belief in magic and supernatural appearance in ghosts and fairies actively interfering in human affairs and controlling the destinies of men was almost universal in the age of Shakespeare. The use of supernatural elements is perhaps the most noticeable feature of the drama.